What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to my channel, welcome to the video. Right now I'm in Bali, Indonesia. I'm gonna be staying here for a few months. That's why I haven't been able to upload recently. I've been kind of preparing and then traveling. It took me it took me 40 hours to get here, but I'm here finally. I've got a brand new setup. I've got a new place and everything that I'm gonna be showing you guys. I might as well go ahead and just show you my new place. This is my new place. I got my setup here. I got my MacBook Pro. And then I guess this is the living room space with the TV, we've got the couch, we've got the kitchen in the back there, fridge, all my equipment and stuff like that, just random stuff in here. And then through here, there's a kitchen, through here we've got the bathroom, and then up here we've got the stairs which go to the bedroom, which is kind of cool. We've got this cool bedroom area, it's kind of messy because we're still setting it in. And then the wardrobe, where all the drip is. And as you can see, that's my backpack, so. So literally everything I brought to Bali had to fit in that backpack. That's why I had to really go for some minimalist gear. Let me show you guys what I've got. So now that I'm traveling, I'm on the road again. I have to pack really lightly. I can't bring, I can't bring a big keyboard. I usually like to use a keyboard, which is like at least 49 keys, but I can't bring that. It's just too heavy and it's just too big. If you see my other videos, you see that I was using the mini Keystation 32, but I switched that up and I decided to try something new. I got the Akai MPK Mini, and this is sick. It's, what I really like about it is that it's got eight pads that you can use for the drums. It's got 25 keys and it's got knobs on there so I can easily control things in Logic Pro X. It's really handy, it's really good. Nice and light as well, so it's perfect for traveling. I've also got the Sizenhauer HD 280 Pro. I've been using these headphones for at least what, three or four years now. That's why it's quite used, it's quite battered. But they're super strong, they're still going strong and they're perfect for making beats. I was looking into getting some portable monitors, but I thought headphones would be a bit more handy because they're super light and super easy to pack as well. And then of course, I've got my MacBook 2015, which has Logic Pro X on it. And it does the job. Also, I use an audio interface. It's the Focusrite 2i2. It's really good, really light as well, easy to travel with. This audio interface is probably like one of the most recommended audio interfaces there is. Just because it's really good for the size it is and also for the price. I'm sure it's about $100 or £100. I don't really remember, but I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description below. And then also I've got this Rode NT and then also I got this Rode NT1A mic, it's a condenser mic. Really, really good, really, really clear audio. And then it also comes with this holder where you can put the mic in here and then you have the pop filter right there attached to it already. And then to go with that, and then to go with that, I've also got the stand, the tripod, and then you can just pop the holder on top here and then the mic on top of that and then that's nice and then that sits on the table on the desk and then you can record audio really easily so that's the new setup that i'm going to be going with for now i'm going to make a beat for the first time in this place and also if you're interested in getting any of this stuff then the link will be in the description below so yeah let's get into it so i got omnisphere open but i think i want to up the bpm to about 150 I think I'm gonna pencil in the melody really quickly. I have an idea in my head of what I want. As you guys already know, sometimes I prefer to just pencil it in really quickly instead of playing it out, because I'm actually a lot quicker with musical typing than I am with the MIDI keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that.
So I got this down so far for the main melody. But what I'm gonna do is change it up a little bit. So I'm gonna add in an up. I think I'll drop that down even slower. So one four, and then I'm gonna EQ it as well. I wanna take out some of this low end. Just so it's a bit more airy. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to duplicate this sound and I'm going to duplicate the pattern as well. And then I'm going to go into Omnisphere and just try to find something else. So I've got, I got a sound picked out in Omnisphere, this is how it goes. But what I'm going to do is control everything here, move it up an octave and then I want to add in some bass notes. So now together we have this. I'm just turn this one down slightly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a counter melody on top of this. Pretty sure I played some of the notes a bit too quick, so I'm going to control everything and then press Q to quantize it. Alright, so that's about it for the melodies. It sounds very atmospheric. I'm going to go ahead and add my drums on top of this now. Join them, turn off the sequencer, and then I'm going to duplicate it, go into Ultra Beat again, and I'm going to layer it with another one, maybe this one. But let me turn it down even more. And then I'm going to duplicate it again, and now I'll add in a kick. in here control everything because a lot of it was off timing and then press Q to quantize it by the way I'm using my own drum kits I got a few drum kits out I'm gonna be using the hi-hat from the volcano kit which is my latest kit so if you guys want to check that out link is in the description the sounds are fire I use them for all my beats I should add in some open hats on top of this as well. Let me turn down the release just a bit.
for the first part, I'm gonna have that bit. So I'll drag that in there. Something like that. And then all I'm gonna do now is add my 808 on top of this. And then I think I'll leave it as that. I won't add in any more sounds. Keep it nice and simple. Okay, I think I have somewhat of an idea. I'm just gonna mute some of this stuff. I'm gonna mute the high. I'm just gonna mute everything to be honest and keep my kick and the melody. And then I'll unmute it and hear it all together after. Something like that. Let me just make sure everything is okay. I'm gonna command A, Q, so it's quantized. So what I'm gonna do now is press command A, shift and option and down at the same time. is go to audio effects to overdrive. I'm gonna add in some overdrive, some distortions, just so it punches a bit more. And then I'm just gonna adjust the volumes just slightly. Some basic mixing. So I'm going through right now and just turning down some volumes. Some basic mixing basically. But yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button right now and drop a comment below. I tried to respond to all of them. So shout out this person from the last video that commented. I appreciate you commenting. I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate all the support that you show me, all the love. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button right now and join the family. That was my minimalist setup. Just really simple, really basic. I've got headphones, I've got a small MIDI keyboard, and of course my laptop with Logic on it so I can make beats as I'm traveling. I really want to show you guys more of my life. I don't want to just do the basic screen recording tutorial all the time. I'm going to be mixing it up and showing you my life as I'm traveling and stuff like that. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I'll see you guys in the future.